Okay, this is a Panasonic digital video head cleaner for mini DV uh, players. Now it says here dry type, and I don't know whether that's because Panasonic and all the other brands that are basically made by Panasonic used dry lubricant on their uh, actual recording tapes, or whether it means that this is one of those products that don't require um, alcohol to be dripped onto the actual cleaning surface but let's let's see we'll find out anyway so i'm just going to open this up so this is my very first uh, time having a look at one of these i think i'm going to need to use both hands so just bear with me a second All right, sorry about that. And by the way, this is uh, what I find quite annoying about um, Amazon is that they tend to stick these sort of barcode product labels over the uh, actual products uh, information and uh, instructions. And you get this with all kinds of uh, products that you get from Amazon these days, including things that contain very important information like medication and things like that and you just can't read them um, anyway back to, to this oh it feels a lot lighter than the standard mini DV cassette so let's see what it says here the Panasonic blah 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 is a high performance cleaning cassette designed to clean heads in just 10 seconds instructions cautions nope skip that skip that right so there are four steps here. So the first step says, play the cleaning tape for 10 seconds only. Okay. If the picture is still unclear, try again. Do not use more than three consecutive times, right? Do not rewind the tape after each use. The tape may be, re may be rewound and used only once. This tape can be used for approximately 30 head cleaning passes. Okay. So what that means is, after you've cleaned the head, the, uh, the tape presumably gets dirty, so you don't want to rewind it and reuse it. So that makes a lot of sense, and that helps them to sell more of these, I suppose, when they run out. Um, the fourth step says, if video noise does not clear up after use, service may be necessary. And the, uh, the rest are in French, so alright, I'm going to give that a go. So one thing I just noticed while having a look at the cassette is, is that there is this table at the back of the uh, uh, the the insert that comes with the cleaning tape and there are some well it's in Japanese but I can see some chemical elements being listed there so from left to right we see lead, mercury, cadmium, uh, was that chromium and something called PBB and PBDE yeah, so I think this is basically explaining what kind of impurities the uh, cleaning tape is able to deal with. And one other thing is, uh, I just wanted to, to mention is when I flip the lid back, I noticed that uh, the actual cleaning media is just a black uh, tape. And I don't know whether it works by magnets or or, or whatever. But I remember um, with standard VHS cassettes, there, there was a dry cleaning tape as well. And that worked like magic um, and yeah you just play it once and it basically solves a lot of problems that the uh, wet clean tapes couldn't um, just before I, I proceed though I just noticed that mini DV tapes have have these um, four contact points here so um, I guess that's for more advanced uh, players or recorders to sort of read the information of the tape um but yeah there we go so let me go grab the uh actual camcorder and we'll give this a go okay so if, you, if you're familiar with mini dv you probably heard the saying that you shouldn't mix brands of uh, tapes but specifically do not use sony tapes um okay so if you're familiar with mini dv there's a saying that you shouldn't switch brands of tapes now just keep in mind that, as I mentioned 
previously that all the other brands like JVC and TDK etc are all made by Panasonic so you can probably switch between them but not switch between any other brands and Sony because once again Sony uses a wet lubricant system whereas the uh, other ones made by Panasonic use a dry lubricant so what I've got in here is actually Maxell tape which is probably made by Panasonic so um well because only Panasonic and Sony makes these tapes so uh but um I had I've had some issues using this tape because sometimes the videos that I've recorded just gets corrupted and I've got to record over them and all that so I don't know whether it's a I hope it isn't a fault with the camcorder but given that I just picked this up today and it's quite an old one I think it's worth um giving it a clean anyway and using a new tape because the tape in in here could have been in the unit for a very long time right so let's get it out okay this is a Maxell tape I don't know how old this is so that could be the cause of the uh, corruption and now when we look at the uh, the uh, four little squares here they are not conductive these ones are plastic, so I have no idea what they are used for anyway. Um, that's not the uh, point of this video. So the instruction says, play this for 10 seconds. Right, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, just loading the cassette. Okay. Now... It should be a lot easier for me to operate the uh, controls like this. Right, play. Tell you what, let me flip the uh, screen around so I can do this with one hand. There we go. Okay, so it says play the tape for 10 seconds. There we go. It's playing. Well, there isn't a time code presumably because it's a cleaning tape so that's about 10 seconds now so i'm gonna stop it all right that should do the trick i hope uh yep just wanted to uh, demonstrate how to use this cleaning cassette yep thanks for watching